Okay, hi guys. All right, I'm going to do a couple of videos here. And they're going to be, I think, better. I'll be happier with them. Because I'm going to be talking about things that are outside the game, which means I'll connect with those, which means I'll be at a higher vibration, which means I'll be happy, happier camper. So, um, I've had a couple questions, so I'm going to try to do these in order. So, the first one that I got, somebody was asking about, uh, saying that indie years talk about whenever they die that they have this overwhelming feeling of unconditional love. And uh, uh, there's a lot of indie years that's been reported to me, because I don't really go listen to them, that people will die and uh, see loved ones, see um, religious figures like God and, and Jesus and Mary and such. And some see angels, some see... Uh, They'll go to like a library with a wise soul there. Uh, there's all kinds of ways that you can see or interpret what happens whenever you die. So on these videos that I'm getting ready to do, the most important thing to remember is something that you should be learning here is perspective. If you think of all that is and you being a part of all that is so that to the point, to the extreme, that you are that person that you're mad at, which you are. Uh, they're part of the all that is, you're part of the all that is. And in the biggest picture of all, we all are a part of one thing. Okay? So if you understand that, that point, and that takes a lot to wrap your head around, it really does, uh, you still can be you and separate from the all that is and be a unique person. You're not going to lose that. Uh, I've done videos on that before as well. You're not going to lose that, but you still are a part of all that is, and so is that those other. So are those other people, as annoying as they might be. They still are a part of what you're a part of, and it does make sense. Everything that they're doing does make sense. You just don't understand the picture. You don't understand their story. So what looks like craziness uh, to you is a part of what they planned and it makes total sense to them in their creationary process. And once you start figuring that out, um, which starts with not judging, because you can't judge people if you're gonna, you gotta get rid of the judgment first before you can start really um, seeing their side of the story, okay? So you get into their shoes and you have no idea what they're creating, what they're doing, what the point is, you have no idea. Shoot, you don't even know what you're doing. Most people don't. You don't know what the story is going to be until you leave. And you're going to turn around and you go, oh, okay, so that's what I was trying to experience. Cool. I did a great job of that. Which you will. Everybody will. Okay? So let's go back to perspective. Now, people die, as I've told you guys before. People leave their body and everything from just floating above their body to dead, 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 which I haven't met anybody as dead as I was and went as far as I did. But that doesn't mean they're out there. I just don't know where they are. Most people do not. Okay, so you're, you're, most people, when they do that and they leave their body, they don't plan on it. It's not a plan. So people are leaving their body and running around in this other side that is huge. I don't care if you just leave your body. If you leave your body and you're just floating above your body, that arena, that place, that perspective is so different than here because you do not anymore, you're not in a human body, you don't have the five senses anymore, that's gone. You have something completely new and it's instantaneous and you didn't plan on it. So people frequently are going, well, number one, you feel good and you feel comfortable, so the next thing you do is look, look around. Okay, where am I? What am I doing here? And then you follow, usually, what your belief systems were in human form. So, if you very quickly realize that you're out of body, and you don't know why you're out of body, you don't know if you're dead, or you really don't, most people don't care, you just feel good. And you go to wherever it is you're supposed to go to have the experience that you're supposed to have. It's no different than you deciding to have the experience of getting married and having children here. Uh, you think it's different because somebody leaves the body and it's a different area. It's, a, it's, it's foreign to you. But in truth, it's just a continuation of that 
person's creationary process. Okay, whether they're in body or whether they're out of body, whether they're sleeping doing things, whether part of them is doing something in another timeline, which everybody does, all of that is a part of the creationary process. So, when it comes to wherever they go and then they come back and they tell you about it, it's all true. Every bit of it is true. Every story that they tell you is absolutely true. The difference is, is there's there's got to be an understanding that their truth is just a part of the whole truth the big picture okay so they've got a bit of the truth and somebody else dies and they see something they come back and they tell you that bit of the truth instead of humans jumping from this person to this person to this person what you're supposed to be doing now is accepting everyone's point of view and adding it to your knowledge adding it don't decide this one or this one or this one you say cool let me hear you that is awesome cool let me hear you that is awesome not judge on anything no matter what they decide to do in this life whether it is your opinion is good or bad not relevant it's about the experience and your job the best job the easiest job the way to stay up is if you're going to interact with people no judgment and be curious ask them what they've been doing. What they've been doing. It doesn't matter what they've been doing. I guarantee you it is awesome if you will listen to it. Everyone's story is awesome. Everyone's story. Okay. So let's go back to them dying. So they die and they go over for whatever reason that they go over. Well, here on this planet there has been zero to, on, on a scale of one to ten, there has been zero to one amount of love that I would categorize as love. Most of the time in the third dimension, uh, zero. Uh, I haven't seen a vibration that I could even correlate with the vibration that on the other side I would say was love. Okay? It's not here. It's not here. So somebody dies and the first thing that happened when I left my body was I didn't feel unconditional love. I felt relief is what I felt. Just relief and freedom. That's the first thing that I felt. Now, eventually, whenever I continued to go, I did feel various amounts, or I would say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, on that one to ten scale as I moved through and out and around. Okay? So, let's say that somebody came from here, they came out of body, they felt that relief, they went to, let's say, God or Jesus, and if you go to I don't know about the Jesuses, they might do it, but I know if you go to Jehovah God and you bow down to him and you say, oh my gosh, God, I can't believe I'm here, and you bow down to him, he will absolutely rain down upon you a vibration of love that I would put at about a three, maybe a four on a good day. Well, if you've come from zero and you go see an entity and you go flying through it and an area you don't know what's going on, you're unfamiliar with all of it, you're in amnesia, none of that, and you get to an entity and he pours out a three to four on you, that is huge, huge amount of love energy. And then let's say you come back into the body and you wake up, of course you've got a story about this entity that is this um, unconditionally loving being. Is that a lie? Absolutely not. It's not a lie understand their perspective if that same person would have hung out with God and then went wait a minute and looked around a little bit and seen wait a minute there's more over there and kept going I kept going and I went all the way out until I got a perfect 10 of what true the vibration of true unconditional love is and it isn't like anything I've ever heard anybody describe because there's so much correlation with love here with needing something that you've got to love something or you've got to be loved by something and true love is not like that it's uh, uh, it's within it's what it's within you uh, you don't need to share it you don't need to get any you don't need to give any it is just there and it is absolutely amazing and it's huge and it's so of course, it's everywhere, and it always is, and nobody thinks it, anything about it, 
because that's just the way it is on the other side. It's just the way it is. But anywhere in this game, there is a reduction of that on that 1 to 10 scale. But remember, whoever your NDE person is, you have to listen to where they went. And remember, it's a big place out there. When you leave the body, it is a big, big place out there, and you can end up anywhere. And wherever they end up is where they're meant to be, and their story is true to them. It is a part of the truth. Okay? So is it good to listen to? Sure. But if you've got any story where anybody says that they had to do anything, then they didn't go outside the game. If they were told that they had to go back, or if they felt like uh, their children needed them, if uh, they came back and they had a message for people from a, a being, uh, anything like that, that's all gameplay. All of it's gameplay. None of that would ever happen on the true other side outside the game at all. You would never get those kind of messages on the other side. On the other side, it's all about, hey, do your thing. And it's good that you're doing your thing. All right. So hopefully that answered those NDE questions. If not, ask me again and I'll try again. I love you bunches and bunches. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye now.